Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Sebastian and this is Sharp Programming and today we're going to be starting a new project. It's a text-based city builder. <laughs> it's just an idea I had a while ago and it's probably going to go crazy uh, and mental and completely go over the board. But <laughs> it's going to be a funny project and I'm, I'm really excited to see where I can go with this. So for the first episode here and for the next like 10, 12, 15 minutes, uh, you'll be seeing me create the menu and I'll get back to that and talk about what I've done, how I've done it, when I'm actually done with it. <laughs> and uh, you'll see there's a little time lapse, some beautiful music, and uh, I think I'll see you on the other side. Now again, uh, just creating the menu today and uh, we're going to be seeing where that goes. Uh, I really don't have <laughs> many plans for this other than I know how I want it to be. Uh, but let's see how it actually turns out. I will see you all on the other side. Thank you. 
So I've just finished doing this menu thing and uh, as you can probably tell from watching the video uh, We'll just take a quick demonstration. So what it'll do is right now it will pause here after writing out your energy in little bars here which will be uh, Decreased and increased after you grow your city or uh, you know spend energy building something else and money as well uh, grow or decrease and then I just press the button and then down come the, comes the menu, and these will just pop out uh, with the arrow keys, this is up and down key. Uh, obviously up goes up, down goes down, and uh, it, you know, when you get to the bottom, no, it won't reset and go to the top. Uh, I'm not, uh, I, you know, I could do that. Uh, we'll do that next time, maybe. So, as of now, uh, when you press enter, it will do one thing, but like, it's, it's in the code, but it's not set to do something, because this will be for next episode. Uh, so for example, this will be uh, the when you press enter will be selection confirmed and then you'll see it will look at where you're located with the up and down keys where you where you ended up and from there uh, decide what uh, under menu you go under. If you go into city planner, uh, that would be like going into say uh, where to put the houses. And what to build, like schools or medicine houses, oh, medicine houses, well done, good English, Sebastian. Or like, uh, you know, hospitals, all that. Uh, the banking would be your options for taking loans uh, to get out of debt if you're in too deep. Uh, and statistics like looking at your citizens' happiness and all that. Uh, also, you know, uh, how much, how many people you've got and how, mu how many you can take care of uh, medically. All that shit. Uh, but we'll have to do that next time in... in <laughs> And this was a lot of code for very little, but it's just to make it look cool, really. It's all about the aesthetics, isn't it? That's what we like. <laughs> so, uh, this up and down key thing was done, and you might have seen me, uh, what the fucking over it, because I don't get it. Uh, no, I, I do, but it's, it's just really confusing to get to work. Uh, but it looks for the console key info, converts it into a, uh, a format to work with, as in a, con con uh, a key info, it's like a... It's like another type of string and int, uh, and you'll just check that if if the control re key is true, as in if you're pressing a button, and that button is an escape, uh, then it will check in a switch. We've covered switches before. It will check that control key info or key info uh, for a key, uh, and in case the it's a console key, as in something that the control can read as a key, uh, the up up arrow, uh, it will set the it will check for the selection, as in you're not uh, already at the bottom. Or top and then it'll say okay we'll just uh, decrease and then you'll be moved up 
uh, that'll happen later on, but uh, it sets the value for, for which you'll be moved up later. And then again with the down key, it'll just move you down. It's, it's simple. Uh, it's really simple actually. You just have to mess around with it a bit. And then the uh, console key enter if that will set the selection confirmed to 1. Now I, I did do a little math up here, <laughs> very little. Um, when you calculate the energy, I couldn't. I uh, divided it by 10. So instead of saying you've got 2 energy, you might have 200 energy. That will write out 20 of these bars. Uh, that's just for aesthetics. And... I don't know. We could we could just have it be two energy in general, but we like big numbers, don't we? So uh, we're gonna have a lot of energy just divided by ten. And then also saying uh, that we we actually we calculated that, and then uh, we do another here called x energy number. That is for for calculating how many times it has to write this out. So it says it sets a value of this uh, int here to one. Uh, which, oh, why did I even do that, actually? Uh, oh, yeah, it's because it, it uh, otherwise it would start from zero, and zero would be, uh, you know, the first, and then if you set it to two or three, it would be uh, three or four. So that's the problem. It would add an, an extra when we don't need an extra. We need uh, the exact amount, and not the zero as to count for one. And then check if, if the new value here, uh, which has an addition of one for every time you go through this is um, is lower than or equal to the energy number that we ended up on which was two so this was one and it'll go through right out a bar and it'll check if it's uh, if it's less than or equal to this uh, and in case it's equal to this uh, it will just you know it will stop so whenever it's equal or it'll, like, it'll continue sorry until it is equal to uh, or actually continue whilst it's still less than or equal so there you go uh, so at the time this hits three it'll stop so that writes out these two bars and then money is just a set value really it's just writing out the value you've got and we can always change that so that's good and then i write out a little line here just to uh, you know cut the screen off uh, we'll have to do that in city planner as well that would be good and then the uh, or arrow key thing we did talk about that and then a little, um, <laughs> oh god, uh, yeah, this is the same code writing out the money and energy for every time you do this because we'll have to clear uh, the console every time we move up and down uh, because otherwise it will just double, uh, it will copy, it will it will literally move the text one uh, step to the right but it will keep the previous that was behind it, it will keep that so it will say CC, it will say two C's in, in an ED planner <laughs> and then banking, it will say banking. So that's pretty ridiculous. So we had to clear and then paste in the code so it'll keep writing the uh, top menu. And that's pretty much it. That's what we did today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, a rating would be much appreciated. And do go ahead and subscribe for more. Now, my name is Sebastian, and this was Sharp Programming. And I will see you all next time for more text based city builder. Bye, guys.